Hi, this is Supermato. Let's start again. Hi, this is Matteo. Hmm, how do you like this start? Hi, this is Matt in this video. Which, <laughs> which start do you like the best? In case you don't like any, I will return to the original start. Ready? Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Vladislav Kovalev and Musa Taleb. Is that better? Okay, let's have a look at the game. In this game, Kovalev had white pieces and he started with e4. Taleb played c6, d4, black to move. d5 is the most popular move leading to Karo Khan defense. In our game we have d6, bishop to e3, knight to c3 is the most popular move here. We have bishop to e3 and now black played g6, modern defense. The modern defense, also known as the Robach defense, is a chess opening in which black allows white to occupy the center with pawns on d4 and e4, and then black goes to attack and undermine this ideal center without attempting to occupy it himself. White move. Knight to c3. Looks like a logical move. We have queen to d2. Perhaps knight to c3 is on the menu, and then castling queen side h4, h5, and so on. This could be an idea. Black played bishop to g7, knight to c3, knight to d7, h4, attempting h5. Black played h5, knight to h3, b5, knight to g5, bishop to b7, bishop to d3. And black played queen to a5. white move. Perhaps originally white wanted to cast the queen side, but he wasn't sure about it now. And white cast the king side. Now from g to f6, a4, pawn takes pawn, rook takes pawn attacking the queen, queen to c7, f4, Knight to g4, e5, knight to b6, attacking the rook, rook from a to a1, and black cast at the king's side, f5, d takes on e5, f takes on g6, black to move. How would you continue? Black made a mistake here. Perhaps e takes on d4 is the strongest move. Also, pawn takes pawn is better than a move played in the game. In the game, Black played f6. A blunder. Let's take this back. Pawn takes pawn is far better. Because now this knight to e6 doesn't work. Forking the queen and the rook. Because black has rook takes rook. And after rook takes rook, queen to d6. Knight takes on g7 and now e takes on d4, threatening queen to h2. And after logical move like bishop to f4, d takes on c3. And black is winning. So perhaps in this position, white even wouldn't play knight to e6, he would play d takes on e5, and it is about equal. And perhaps black is still doing well. Okay, in our game we have f6. Knight to e6 forking the queen and the rook. 
queen to d6. And now, many people would capture the rook. Kovalev captured the bishop. Knight takes on e3. Queen takes knight. And black played queen takes on d4. Well, better than queen takes pawn on d4 was king takes on g7. And after rook from a to e1, then queen takes on d4, queen takes queen, e takes on d4. But white would be still better. Okay. In the game, we have a queen takes on d4, counting on this continuation. Queen takes queen. And then after e takes on d4, rook from a to e1, and black intended to play perhaps e5, or pawn takes knight is possible. Okay. This is the position. It is white to move. Queen takes queen is definitely possible. But white found even a better move. What is the move? White played knight to a five and black resigned. Possible continuation is queen takes queen, then knight takes queen. Note that white is a piece up. Knight to d5, then knight to f5. With the idea knight takes knight, and then knight takes on e7 check. Perhaps rook from f to e8. Now knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop to b5, attacking the rook. Rook from e to d8, very logical move, knight takes on e7 check. And after king to g7, white has two plans. Rook to f3, and then rook to g3. Another idea is rook to a3, c3, rook to c7. But black had enough and resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? Perhaps Robach's defense is not that bad. Black had a good chance. If in this position he played pawn takes pawn or pawn takes pawn on g6. That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.